Hey everyone, Matthew and Restless here. As you see at the bottom right, the picture we did last time is now merged into the video and is now the icon, or stamp as a lot of people call it. It's like your signature, basically. Um, I have this video, this part two, this is part two, and this will show you how to do that with, with the picture you created using, using the last part's tutorial, the last part of the tutorial, the first part. This is how to do it with Sony Vegas. I have no idea how to do it with anything else. I've looked. You can do it basically with any Sony Vegas. Is. It works the same way either way. Um, you don't need this. So click on new. Okay. Now we have a new slate. We will now click on this button to import a video. I'll hit this button first. We can use to import it's a, a picture. Oh, and the reason why we need to do that, do the whole deleting the background thing, is because if you don't, it will actually do this. And if you do this one, this is a. Did it, yeah. That's one. So you just watch. Oh, we need to demonstrate that picture. I'm going to get this thing right here, right here. We'll click on. We'll use this one. We'll probably use this one for a lot of videos. Like this. So we're going to put it in the timeline. Now we're gonna down the hell out of its length. Let's make it only, make it a minute. Click S, delete the rest. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is demonstrate real quick this part. So we do do its graduate picture. Put it right here. Like right on the number thing. Cause you have to make sure this is on top. The top layer, and as you see, there's a background. There's a border. Um, you do not want this. So what you're going to do, delete that, and see, watch the difference. You can see, there's no border. And that's what you want. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of unnecessary space. So what you want to do is you're going to make it basically the same length as the video. If it's not the same length, it's obviously going to stop mid midway into the video. Um, if you this is also going to be. Sh I'm also going to. While well, I was showing you how to do this, you show you how to do the animation part. But first off, I'm going to show you how to do this. Make it just down here, like it is right here. So what you would do is you'd right click, click match aspect ratio. See, it's going to get a little bit bigger. If you want, you can even adjust this a little bit, like that or something. You're going to come over here and you're going to go to source and you're going to see the top one. It is maintain aspect ratio. You could click on it and click no. That's all you need to do there. If you if you keep it aspect ratio, you won't be able to make it all the way to the end. Because it's just mean that way. Now what we're gonna do oh, actually I'll I'll demonstrate that real quick. You're gonna actually you probably won't do oh yeah, yeah. Me. Oh yeah, because I got rid of aspect ratio, never mind. The video doesn't have an aspect ratio. So what you do is you just drag this. Let's make the, this box basically is this. So I can just keep dragging until you have it up to size you. Oh no, there it goes. It's an aspect ratio right there. So you can click no and it finishes, it fixes it. Okay. So now what you do is you end up putting it in the corner. Probably a little bit little, little smaller than that actually. There you go. If you want to, you can type the, a name for it and save it by clicking that button, and it'll appear under here, like I did here. Um, and that's how you do that. You go to the beginning, and you wait. So now we're gonna mute this video, or mute the video, just for the for the purpose. Now we're gonna play it. And you see it's the entire video. So now what we're gonna do now I'm gonna show you how to do the animation that I did at the beginning. So what you wanna do is first we're gonna make one like all this normal. So we're gonna go back, 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 back. All the way back to all the way back to normal. So what we're gonna do is now click on 
this which is cursor position go click on it and then click say you want to make it a second like I usually do click on a second press enter and you're going to simply now click on now as if you zoom in this through this will be in right here you can either click on this to create the key thing or you can just move this it will instantly make it so what you want to do is you're going to stretch this out no you're not I just realized something it still says that so we want to get rid of that and you're going to make it really small not really really small but you know what I mean Back, you know, just kind of make it skinny because he's there. We go. Probably gonna want to make it a little bit closer to the edge. There you go. Um, and you basically go, you go to the beginning. Now, what you want to probably want to do is unless you want to keep it, make it start like that, you're going to go like that, and you're going to move the cursor. A second long. There it is, a second long. You want the movie there. And then you're going to start the movie. There you go. You now made an animation. Then you'd want, then you're going to need to stretch this though to match the video again. So that's basically everything. Oh, and if you wanted to, like, say, um, you want to be able to see that card or whatever, or whatever is behind it. You could also make it a little transparent or pulling down the top. You can push it right here. The little arrow thing is going to appear like the up and down arrow. You just click it and hold it down, and it's going to come down. And as you see, the video starts getting transparent. It starts getting transparent. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and if you want to do like a fade in thing, you can move it over. You click on over here, the top, it's going to make like a little heel, half heel, or quarter circle thing. And you pull that, and it would do something like that. And basically, it would fade into it. That's basically everything you need to do. Um, well, yeah, that's that everything you need to do for this. Um, so I guess I can render it real quick. and I'm going to pause it real quick because it's probably going to take a few minutes so I'm going to pause the recording real, the video real quick and continue in a little bit okay now that the video is done done rendering you close this you don't need Vegas open anymore you just go open it up you don't oops and there you go out of the way and there you go you can see it all easily like that's basically everything I didn't put it into I didn't put in HD like I usually do, well this anyway, but it was just to show you that this worked, and you're not going to need the SFL file, you can delete that, you don't need that, but that's all you need, so yeah, um, like, subscribe, comment, if you need any help, let me know, until the next video. The next video, actually the next video probably will be, probably my rendering settings, just because it's, 
to help some people out they can't figure out good rendering settings or found good rendering settings but they don't want to give up the space for it because I have actually it's, it's a two part thing but it makes hot HD videos into like nothing it turns like a two gig long a two gigabyte video to like a 200 megabyte video so it's pretty good so that's probably going to be my next video until then see you all